Here's my quick guide to effects pedals. It's aimed at beginners and hopefully it might help you decide which pedals you want to buy first. Okay, so the top of my list is the overdrive or distortion pedal. You'd probably be familiar with this one, but I'm just going to go through it anyway. Uh, so here we have an open E chord without, a nice clean sound, stamp on the pedal, instant rock. Okay, now this one is set up with a lot of drive or a lot of distortion on it and um, uh, people use different, I suppose people use different words for different sort of categories of the amount of distortion. So uh, I would say overdrive normally means less distortion. So I've got this one set up for a sort of a, more of an overdrive sound. But they're still pretty much all the same sort of thing. So I'll listen to this one. Here's without. <laughs> There we go. Nice sound that one. Not as dirty as this one, which is sort of more rock, more metal. This one, I guess, would be probably more useful for a maybe blues or a sort of indie sound. Okay, now the other thing that's good on these pedals is you can change the volume. So if you wanted to have a volume boost as well, maybe do a solo. It's a pretty handy thing to be able to step on the pedal and then it will raise your volume too. Oh yeah, a couple of extra things on the distortion pedal. Just check on your amp. If you've got like a modern or a newish practice amp, you may well find that it's already got a sort of distortion setting on. It's perhaps called gain. Or uh, you may be lucky and have a, a good tube amp and that might make a similar sound. Uh, it might distort in a, in a really nice manner as well. So have a good look at your amp. Uh, try that out before you go and buy uh, an additional overdrive or, or distortion pedal. Next on my list is a delay or echo pedal and uh, <clears throat> these are really good fun and really useful too. So let's just try. There's an E chord without and then you can hear, hear the echo obviously. And normally on these pedals you can change uh, the time of the echo, so we've got a short, short delay time here. Almost sounds like a reverb, and then to a longer time here. Here you get the idea. And also you can change the number of times the echo will repeat. Let's put it on a lot. Let's see what happens now. It takes quite a while to decay. And you can change how loud the echo is. Okay, so it's pretty straightforward and part of the fun with these is sort of working out what you can do with it. But it's really good on chords and on solos as well because you can use it to sort of fill, fill a lead sound out. Okay, next on my list is a wah wah pedal. Uh, these come in uh, many shapes and sizes and different varieties. Vox and Crybaby are well known ones. This is an old one from the, uh, from the 70s and you need to use your foot to operate this so it makes it pretty interesting. It's a very... Uh, dramatic sound, okay. So, now, the sound changes uh, as you rock your foot back and forward. Okay, so it's sort of darker when it's back and brighter when it's forward. And you can move your foot at different speeds. So it's pretty good for, well, essential really for a funky sound, but also if you use it in combination with another pedal like a distortion, uh, then you're going to get a pretty much like a Hendrix sound or more metal sound, Metallica, stuff like that. So again, it's a very interesting pedal and lots of fun to, to try out and mess about with. Okay, next up is the chorus pedal. Let's try with that. Without. Put it on. It's got a sort of shimmering effect. Sounds um, like a 12 string guitar, some people say. It's got a very 80s feel for me. Sounds like Prince or something like that. Maybe The Police or The Cure. But it sort of fills your sound out and it's really good on um, chords. You know, that type of stuff. But useful and uh, it sort of colours your sound 
in quite a different and dramatic way. Okay, next up is a phaser. I've got this set up on a slow sweep. So just listen to the um, listen to the sounds it changes. I'm going to play just the one chord. <laughs> Okay, change the uh, let's change the speed uh, at which the sound sort of changes. I quite like it set on a sort of slow speed. It's more dramatic. So that's that one. Now a flanger, unfortunately I've not got a flanger to show you, but a flanger is a very sort of similar sound. Um, and again the phaser and the flanger, um, good for sort of, well lots of things really, but um, they can be used as well uh, to good effect in combination with other pedals like a distortion. Okay, next on my list is a octave pedal. Uh, this is a pretty old one, you can get much more sophisticated ones than this now. But what this does is take a note and puts a, a lower octave uh, note, or I think more modern ones will do a higher octave note as well, or even different different other notes for a, uh, in the case of a pitch shifter. Well, let's have a listen to this one. Okay, so here's without, and here's with. Great. <laughs> Okay, now uh, one thing to mention about this one is it likes single notes, but when you start playing two notes together, it sounds bad. Well, it sounds bad to me anyway. Um, so uh, it's a sort of a really nice pedal to mess about with, but I guess it's something that you might get fed up with after a while, and its application is probably a little bit limited. 